Hi guys, so today I've got another drugstore haul and first impressions video and I did one of these quite a while ago and you guys seem to really like it and I actually really liked making it so I thought I would do another. Now I've done a little bit of drugstore shopping, it's all on this tray and I'm just going to jump right in and show you what I've got but also I'm going to be inserting clips of me putting it on my face and telling you what I thought about some of the products. I only tested some of them but I'll let you know my thoughts on them. So starting off with foundation, I used the Bourjois Paris Air Matte 24 hour hold foundation in the shade vanilla and this says it's going to be a matte finish which I do think it is it's really 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 heavy coverage I think I put way too much on my face it did blend well over moisturizer but I hated this I hated the color it was really orangey and not at all the same shade as vanilla in the other bourgeois foundations which I think is a bit stupid because if you've got the same colour range names they should all be the same colours but honestly this was so orange and I noticed it starting to clump up around my nose and like forehead area and I never ever have problems with them areas so that was a little bit weird to me and I actually ended up taking this off but I did my eyeshadow and stuff first so I'll just carry on with this haul I wouldn't recommend this maybe it'd be good if you've got really oily skin but I did think it went quite patchy around my nose. I just really didn't like this, but it was matte. <laughs> Next up, I picked up a Rimmel Wake Me Up concealer and I've tried this so many times, I just needed a new one. I really love this concealer. I've been using the Miss Sporty 10 Hour Concealer, I think that's what it's called, and that's really, really good. But I decided to pick another one of these up because I'd run out. This is just a really nice kind of medium coverage concealer. Blends really well and gives you a little bit of highlight as well. It's really nice. On to eyeshadow, the first thing I took was the Bourjois Paris Colour Band Ombre at Poupier Eyeshadow and Liner. This says it's waterproof and it says it gives 24 hour hold and comfort. And I've got mine in the shade Mauve Baroque. This is so pretty, it reminds me so much of the By Terry Ombre Black Star, I think that's what it's called, it reminds me so much of that, in the shade that Tanya always talks about, I've got that shade and honestly they're literally identical, and this went on my eyes really nicely, when I blended it out it did go a bit more sheer but not too sheer, I could definitely have worn this on its own, but I decided to pop some eyeshadow on top. And for that, I got the Sleek Makeup Palette in the shade Vintage Romance. This is full of gorgeous shades, from like greeny, goldy shades, to silvers, to blues. There's a matte brown, which is always good for in the crease, and there's so many berry and purple shades, which is what I really, really like. They seem to pop the green in my eyes. So I took this kind of vintage goldy shade all over the lid first. It blended like a dream, honestly. You would think you were using like Urban Decay eyeshadows, they're that good. That just went all over my lid and in one swipe of color, it was really opaque. And then I blended a few of the different cranberry purpley tones into the crease which are stunning. I just got my fat blending brush and blended them right in there. And on my lower lash line, I decided to take a mix of a darker purple and a black shade, just to add a bit more depth. And I really, really like how this eye look turned out. I think it looks super pretty and I would 100% recommend this palette so much. Now is where I took my foundation off and changed it to the MAC face and body. So if my foundation looks different in the close up clips, that is why. But after eyeshadow, I moved straight onto mascara and I used Use the Maybelline Lash Sensational. This used to be one of my favourite mascaras but after using it today I don't think it really did much. I think I prefer it when it dries out a little bit so I'll just leave this in my drawer for a couple of weeks and then come back to it and hopefully it should be good then. It gave me a lot of length but it didn't give me a lot of volume. I really prefer the Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara, that one's really good but this one, meh. I used to really, really like it. I'll have to get back to you in a couple of weeks and let you know what I think. I also bought this mascara and it's the Benefit They're Real. This is one of my all time favorites and I did put a bit of this over the top of the other one just to make it a bit better. For brows, I started off with this Maybelline New York Master Brow Pro Palette in the shade Deep Brown, which I really like. It's got a little brush in it as well, which is really good, and it comes with a wax, a brown powder, and a little highlighter shade for once you've done your brows, just to put underneath the brow bone. 
This is a really good palette, but I realized that it wasn't dark enough for me. Even though this is the deep brown shade, I needed something a bit darker, so I just went to my normal brow shade, but this would be really good if you've got like medium brown hair. This is a really good affordable palette. For bronzer, I decided to pick up the Bourjois Chocolate Bronzer and I've got this, but I've got it in the darker shade, so I picked it up in the lighter shade. This is really nice. I don't think it smells like chocolate. I think it smells like old ladies mixed with chocolate in a nice way, not in a really like bad way. I actually really like this. It gave me a subtle bronze and contour to my cheeks. Nothing too heavy and I think this is a really good bronzer if you've got fair skin and you're looking for quite a light one. I got this in the shade 51, which I think is the lightest one that they do and I would really recommend it. For blusher, I picked up the Bourjois Aqua Blush. This says 12 hour hold and it says it's got a transparent sheer and fresh colour. I got mine in the shade pink twice and this is a really cool product. I didn't think I would like this. I swatched it in store and I didn't think it really did anything but I decided to pick it up anyway because I think Bourjois was on a three for two. And I love this. It's a very watery consistency, but I think that's nice for a blush because you don't want it to be too intense. But this definitely did pack a punch with colour as well. It also smells really nice. If you've smelt the foundation, it kind of smells like melon and that's what this smells like. And I'm definitely going to be using this so many more times. So I think it's really pretty. It just adds a nice little flush of colour and I really want to pick up some of the other colours too. That's a really good new product in at the drugstore. And finally, for my lips today, I outlined them with this sleek waterproof lip liner in the shade Red Sky Night, which I don't understand because it's very much pink. It reminds me of Max Saint Germain and I personally wouldn't wear this on its own. It's very light pink pink but with the lipstick that I put on after it looks really nice and that is the Barry M in the shade 168. This is just a really pretty kind of nudie pink shade. It matches my top really well. I think this is a really gorgeous nude shade. It's a bit more kind of dusky pink than a traditional nude nude but it just looks so pretty and I honestly think this would be nice on so many different skin tones. Like if you've got darker skin, I think this would be super pretty too, just because of the kind of shade it is. It's really creamy and nice and this is just a winner in my book. So that's everything that I bought that I put on my face, but I did buy some more stuff. So I got a few more of those lip liners. I got one in the shade Lingerie. And this is like a purpley, plummy shade. I also got Pumpkin, which is a true orange. And I got Venom, which is like a darker, purpley shade, which looks really pretty. These are really good lip liners, actually. They set into place and then they don't budge, so they're super good. I also picked up a Rimmel brow this way because I really like this brow set. I think I did put some of this on today, but not on camera, so... Yeah. I got two more sleek palettes and I got the Storm palette. The shades are very goldy and greeny and bluey in this one, which I think are super duper pretty. There's a few pinky shades which don't really suit me, but there's only a couple of them, so that's fine. There's a matte brown, a really nice deep kind of khaki green virgin on black. This palette looks so pretty. I'm really excited to use that. And then I also got the Enchanted Forest palette. And this one's got a lot of kind of baby blues and baby greens in with a few cranberry colours. And I actually think for eyeshadow, like mint green and seafoam green go really nicely with cranberry colours. So I think they've done a really good job of picking shades for this. But I would say get this one if you're a little bit more daring with eyeshadow. It's really pretty, but it definitely wouldn't be an everyday one for me. I also got three more pairs of the Fleur de Force Fleur Loves lashes. These are kind of three quarter length lashes and they're really fluttery and honestly these are probably my favourite lashes ever so well done Fleur for these because I think they're really great. And the last two things that I picked up are hair products. And the first one is the L'Oreal El Vive Extraordinary Oil. This is for coloured hair and you basically just do a few little pumps into your hair when it's wet and then blow dry it and these oils work so well for my hair so I thought I would just try this one. And then I also got the L'Oreal El Vive Nutri Gloss Luminizer Extraordinary Gloss Leave In Care and this is a shine booster. It says it's for dull hair which I don't really have dull hair. This smells so fresh and nice I would probably just wear this as a perfume. I mean if they came out with it as a perfume not legit this but 
Shut up, Gabby. I popped a bit of this on today, and when my hair was down, it was looking so shiny. And I think that this did help towards that. It's kind of got like an oily consistency, not as oily as the hair oil. It's a little bit oily, so it adds like a nice sleek shine to your hair. I wouldn't use this in the roots, but it's definitely nice on the ends. So that is everything that I got in my drugstore haul. Let me know what you've picked up from the drugstore lately and if you like the stuff. And give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Be sure to subscribe to my channel if you want to be notified when I upload videos and I will see you in my next one. Bye!